Rick, Vicky, this is dramatic body cam video recorded 13 days ago at a Walmart on New Cut Road. You're about to see a Louisville police officer desperately searching for a suspect believed to be armed inside the store. You'll also see the officer open fire on the suspect as he tries to prevent an alleged carjacking. It started with a chase. Kentucky State Police were trying to stop that black car when it crashed into a pickup. The driver who tried to elude the trooper stayed at the scene, but a passenger fled. So he's a white male with an orange shirt, and he had a pistol. be a white male with an orange shirt. He had a pistol. It was a long barrel pistol. He had two guns. I saw the warrant. Louisville Metro Police Officer Brandon Brinkley leaves the crash site in search of the fugitive, 37-year-old Randall Allen. Officer Brinkley enters a Walmart tire center and asks customers if they've seen the suspect. I see a guy walking in with an orange shirt. As his search continues, the officer finds the suspect's discarded orange shirt in one of the aisles. Then, Brinkley spots his man heading back outside. Once outside, Officer Brinkley is in hot pursuit. He orders Allen to give up. You better stop! The suspect makes it to the pharmacy drive through and gets into a woman's van. The officer rounds the corner and sees what appears to be an armed kidnapping in progress. Police say Allen revved the engine to come at Officer Brinkley. What happens next is chaotic and jarring. You better stop! Get out of the car! 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 The suspect is hit by at least one of the officer's bullets. The woman in the van escapes unharmed. Officer Brinkley holds Allen in the car until backup arrives. He's pulled out of the van, handcuffed, and given medical attention for his wounds. According to LMPD, a real gun and a replica weapon were recovered at the scene. Randall Allen has been released from the hospital and is charged with first-degree robbery, first-degree unlawful imprisonment, and being a felon in possession of a firearm. We are very fortunate uh, that nobody uh, other than the assailant himself uh, was injured in that, that the woman who was the victim of a horrific carjacking attempt is safe. Louisville police say a copy of that video and report of the incident has been turned over to Kentucky State Police for review. In the meantime, Officer Brinkley remains on paid leave as the investigation continues. Reporting live in studio, Randall Cam, WOKY News.